Hey guys and welcome to a new campaign that I will be starting on the channel very very soon and it will be a Krokgar let's play. Um, I talked about it earlier on some live streams that I wanted to just basically beef up the amount of content that I was releasing and so I did reach out to um, you guys as a community and wanted to see what your guys' thoughts were as to you know what I should play next and I was able to get a few responses and one of them that kind of stuck out was Krotgar's campaign because he has a pretty difficult start from what I was told. Um, because he does start with a, a minor settlement here. But he's also um, has Kairos to the south. He's got green skins. He's got um, dwarves, Scarbrand. It, and it's just a really kind of tough initial start. So I thought we would see how it kind of goes. Um, just briefly going over his faction effects. He, uh, they've they've changed them for Warhammer 2, which some of them are, are pretty decent, I think, anyway. Um, the upkeep for armies led by Soros Old Bloods, which is pretty handy. Um, so basically, Krotgar's um, variant, so the Soros Old Bloods here. So any army led by these kind of lords will get a 15% upkeep cost reduction, which is good. Um, the Soros buildings grant additional bonuses to the heroes as well as the lords. So if we check those out, uh, so it's this tier 4 building, so the recruit rank for them is increased by 2 faction wide, and also the hero capacity is increased, increased, which is really good, so, excuse me, that's something we'll be uh, looking forward to as well, because we'll be able to just, you know, have really high, um, basically like the, um, uh, where is that building? Um, the Star Chamber building, like for Lord Recruit Rank in general. That, that'll be really good um, for the Source and Scar Veterans. So, Plus, they also have a Weapon Strength 1% per character rank for the same Hero and Lord. So we can, you know, since you can get up to rank 50, you can get 50% extra Weapon Strength. Uh, weapon strength, excuse me, and also experience gain by 30% for those heroes. So, really, his faction just really prioritizes um, those specific lords and heroes. But um, it'd be really good for a single entity doom stack for sure. I've thought about that, but you do need to get to. Um, never mind. Sorry, I thought it was, I was gonna about to say it's gonna. You have to wait up to get up to tier four for the hero capacity, but you can increase the hero capacity at tier three. So interesting, that might be something we end up doing with, um, with Krotgar's army. But anyway, let's jump right in. We do start with a Heaven's uh, Skink Priest. Um, so that'll be handy when we get some, get some magic. So let's pop him in. Um, alright, and you start off with the Tablet of Source and Sequence of Weapon Crafting already researched for you. So we get 5 melee defense. 10 weapon strength and work on 5 melee attack. Okay. So that's pretty good. But yeah, I haven't really played um, Lizardmen that much so far in the in Warhammer 3, so I'll be inter interested to see how this campaign goes. Uh, Alright. Tablet of Spawning. That's all for the skink stuff, that's right. Um, this should be really good for our economy. Um. But we also need growth. Just not sure what to go with here uh, just yet. Um, Tablet of War. What's that one? Income, leadership, and campaign movement range. That one's actually pretty good. It will take, you know, 18 turns to get to that, though. But anyway, let's just jump into the first fight here and see how we go. Going up against some Skaven. We got some Plague Monks, but, no Plague monks, but nothing serious. So let's just jump on in. And get the first battle of this Let's Play underway. Yeah, there will be... This video I'm recording is on the 5th of March. And it should be out on Wednesday, which I believe is the 8th. Um, and I'll be releasing more of them um, Thursday and Friday and, and so on. Um, through the weekend, so but Yeah, I'm interested to see how well like I haven't played 
I think I played a Gorok campaign actually when the game like Warhammer 3 first came out and I was just like eh, kind of got through it but I d didn't really spend a whole lot of time investigating how the source units work now since they don't have rampage they have a different um, kind of ability once their health goes below 50% I think they get um, physical resistance physical resistance melee attack and charge bonus Plus, they still have their dinos that are you know, really strong anyway, but their regular, like, infantry have, have been uh, improved, so. Good. Alright. Uh, put you guys in the trees. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Alright, uh, never mind. He doesn't have wind blast yet, so just keep him back, and we will uh, move back just a skosh. So our missile units have a clear line of sight. Alright, let's get it on. And yes, uh, really the, the main person I want to give a shout out to, oh, sorry, um, in terms of kind of giving me the an idea to play as Krogar is uh, Thomas. Thomas Mertens. Thank you, man. I appreciate appreciate your support. I, I really am glad and appreciative that you enjoyed the Let's Plays that I have started on the channel, and I hope you will enjoy this campaign as well. The rest of you can suck it. No, I'm, I'm kidding. <laughs> no, I, I kid. I hope you guys uh, will enjoy it as well. Obviously. Alright, if they're just gonna stay there, then let's sp uh, bring my army down here. And we'll just spin and rotate. Um, these guys should be able to stay hidden since they're up on the hill. Good. Alright. Turn around. Stay um, yeah, that'll be fine. Go route. Excuse me. Alright. Get, get back over here. Get him out. Good. Alright, stay it on. Come on, front. Krogar, have some fun. Don't fire at will. Can't believe they haven't started coming at, coming at me yet. Watched like the attack animations in a long time for um, for I mean any faction really. Usually I'm always streaming or like recording, obviously like right now, and I just I don't know, I just haven't taken the time to look at that stuff, and I should because that was pretty dope. All right, don't chase them anymore. We don't need to. All right, you come up here. Good. If they're just gonna keep standing there, then yeah, we'll just keep uh, moving up. Alright, alright, let's slow down. Croc are up here, you go up here. Good. And we can swing these guys more in the trees up here. Now we do need to be careful, because these guys are armor piercing. So we need to be aware of that when dealing with, or sending our Stegodon in, as well as, um, Proc Gar, but we'll be, we'll be okay. Right. You guys, go deal with him. They don't have much armor, so they'll do better against him than they would anyone else. You guys reposition this way. Dinos flank on the left side. Skaven slaves. You have 12 attack, I'm so proud of you. Alright, and then, yeah, let's do... Buff some, some of our units, I guess. 
stuff. Krogar, you can probably solo that warlord. That'd be pretty great. Right, good. Alright, you scoot up here. You wanna fight in the trees, I don't blame him. Uh, we don't have like the woodsman ability, so the Stegodon is probably not doing as much damage as I would have would like right now. You guys can shoot at them. It's just gaming spears, but still. The skinks are st still pretty good in the game. Uh, I really like them in Warhammer 2. Um, it's not that they're not as good as they once were or are, com you know, compared to Warhammer 2. It's just that the melee infantry appear to have gotten much better for um, the Eagles. Since they don't rampage, it's a huge, huge bonus for Good. Yeah, Stegodon's doing his job. He's just been beating on a bunch of guards still. So. Yeah, the plague monks are doing a pretty good job as well against me. Now let's bring you up. I need you to beat on that board. Good. Alright. We use the harmonic uh, convergence on Krotgar next. Alright, you guys all come over here. Krotgar, I want you to solo him. Same with you. Good. Should be getting the armor losses here very soon. There we go. Alright, let's just run him down. Very nice. Thought I told you to. Oh well. Alright, let's just end the fight. Good stuff. Now, from what I've been told, um, this next fight is pretty difficult because um, auto resolve doesn't give you a good chance. It's a, against a major settlement, and their garrison is just—I don't—I don't know if it's necessarily that the garrison is strong because it's a Skaven garrison, but they will have Skaven towers and just towers in general that we will have to deal with. So we need to, and I don't know what to expect. I'm going into this blind. So I don't know like what enemies I'm really gonna face. You know, if I'm gonna get declared war on like quickly, I have no idea. So we just really need to pay attention to how much damage we're taking. Not that you shouldn't ever pay attention to stuff like that, but uh, some campaigns you can definitely get away with taking more casualties than you probably should let yourself um, get away with. Especially because we won't have any magic, you know, really, um, in terms of damage potential. Because we won't get Wind Blast out of this fight. Um, yep, take their replenishment. Need to be as healthy as possible. Now, I said we didn't even get a level out of that. Now, he's definitely hanging out there. Control, corruption, money. Uh, let's see. For it, those who respect. Okay. Yes. What do your plaques require now? It's kind of, kind of uh, rude. I suppose. It's just trade tariffs, but still. Um. Ken Morgan is who I'm at war with. I imagine it's... Okay, he's to the north. Then who's to the south here? Or maybe it's just not growing. Hold up, let's do... Okay, so yeah, he doesn't own that either. Then, yeah, I don't know who owns that territory. 
Um, Alright, now we could get walls. But that's really bad. Um, they get three units for 2,005 turns. That's really bad. Um, holy cow. Um, then, yeah, go ahead and do the Golden Tower of the Gods. I know that's a lot of money, but we'll get our money back fairly quickly. Now, let's go take Teotihuacan. Valiant Defeat. All right. Which, yeah, this is nothing to be concerned with. They only got two uses of Menace Below. I think we just need to Bull Rush them. Yeah, because the, the more... Uh, the quicker we get this done, the less... Uh, damage their towers will be able to do to us. So let's just pop in a save just in case and we will get it going. Plus all their leadership is garbage. We may not even we might even just end up causing a mass route against them. We'll just have to see. But Skaven settlements are very big, which means they can have a lot of towers. And Skaven towers are deadly. Granted, the AI rarely levels them up to like rank three, which is when they get like the warp lightning um, cannons kind of like shot that deals a bunch of damage, but still. Cause you gotta figure they're gonna slow us down a little bit upon us attacking or as we are approaching the the uh, the walls because of their menace below's. Alright. Now over here is the blind spot. This tower though is indestructible um, no yeah there is a blind spot right here where we can sneak in um, I think it's the only blind spot on this map yeah so we're gonna take advantage of that because again we need to limit our casualties which it may not be perfect but We'll make it work. Alright, that's everybody. Good. I'll just move forward a little bit just to make sure we are out of that range. And let's come in and attack the gates. Yeah, we are. Good. Yeah, they didn't even end up putting anybody up on the walls because of it. Yeah, indestructible, uh, where's it at? Where's it at? Right here. Indestructible. This lone tower. Right, let's pop up here. Uh, I will say though, one thing that would be beneficial for the lizard men, a little more speed would be really nice. Like, I, I don't know the lore behind, like, a lot in the game, but something tells me 31 speed for the source units or is a little bit uh, of an extreme measure in terms of their um, speed potential. Like, I'm not saying they need to be zooming around the map, but. Like, come on. Like, this is... This is, like, a freaking... Dwarf level speed action that we got going on. Right, you guys need to get... Alright, yeah, the Cold One Spirit Riders can deal with the, uh... The mess below. And that's the last one. Yeah, this like they're just walking. Alright, good. Alright, let's just charge in. Alright, 
good. Now you come up front. Alright, all of you just be pushed through the gate. Nice. This would be really nice where, or it would be really good if there was like knockback damage in the game. Affected units, lizard men. Why won't it work? Anyone know why? That's just fantastic. Huh. Does the rampage ability really not work? Or the stopping rampage ability not work? So it works on them. Can I not use it on... Okay, there it worked. That's weird. I don't know, maybe it just bugged out? I don't know. Very nice, that was a good... What? Ooh, yeah, yeah, let's do that. He's big enough, we'll be able to push through these units. Come downhill a little bit and. Good. Yep. Just stopped them from firing. Come down here and charge into the backs. Really, we just need like a mass route. Yeah, look at that. We knocked probably 15, 20 units back. Didn't do anything. It's really something I hope they really at least consider bringing back into the game is some knockback damage like they had in Warhammer 2 with cab units. What what is going on here? Krogar is losing to Clan Rats. That's fantastic. Good. Get rid of the Skaven Slave Slinger. Uh, Slingers. Just keep running them down. You need to shoot or attack the Clan Rats. Good. Now let's come over here and get this uh, capture point, because those towers just keep doing a bunch of damage to me. Right, charge into the back of them. Nice. Alright, you. Hop up here. We'll get them on the wall so they can start shooting down at uh, the enemy. Good, just keep coming over here. Good, there's there we go. We're getting a little little bit of a mass route going. Good. Give us a little more a uh, little more momentum in the fight here. As long as like nobody dies, we'll be okay. Don't wanna lose any units in the big one. No, you're not, you're not in melee with anybody. Come on now. Yeah, this is the problem now. We're just so dang slow. Or if they would get like a perfect vigor ability, if they're gonna be that slow, that'd be really nice. Like just something to, something to offset the um, 
the uh, the slowness of the lizard units here. Because they desperately they need something. You know? They need a little good old TLC. Cause yeah, we gotta get rid of these uh, towers everywhere. They're just they're doing way more damage than uh, than what they should be doing. Which is what I was initially worried about from the start. Yeah, I shouldn't have used it on him because he's way back there and exhausted. Good, he's routing. Yeah, they just don't have like any cap uh, capping power. They're just getting shot by all the towers. Good. But yeah, it doesn't work. The, like the out of control part bypasses the uh, the actual ability to stop them in rampage. It doesn't work. Unfortunate. It's, I mean, it's very similar to the uh, to the um, winds of magic, like miscalculation. You know, it's it's something that should work, but apparently something that you just can't take for granted. Yeah, we lost like 13 um, units right there just trying to take that, but that was a good charge. Did like a thousand damage on the clan rats. But yeah, I can do it now. But it doesn't actually let you do it once, um, if they're actually rampaging, it just doesn't let you do it. Maybe I'm missing something, I don't know, you guys will have to comment uh, down below. But I feel like that's pretty straightforward, if a unit is rampaging, this should stop it, but the out of controlness of that unit, you know, because when, when a unit goes to rampage, you lose the ability to control them. But like this ability isn't from them, but I don't think they programmed it the right way. So they basically think that this ability is tied to that unit, but the unit is rampaging, therefore the game doesn't let you actually cast that ability. Which is unfortunate because if if the if the ability is not gonna work, then don't let you know the only way to get around that is don't let the uh, don't let the Dinos have rampage, you know. Just get rid of the rampaging uh, issue altogether. Yeah, we're definitely gonna lose that unit between the towers and the uh, the uh, flying rats. Yeah, that unit's gone. Unfortunate, but not the worst thing. You know, didn't want to lose them, but it happens. Good. Bring you over here. Uh, take on these planets. Yeah. Uh, actually, no. Stay over here. Stay over here. And just fight as a as a um, united front, basically. Except you, you need to get out of there. You're not gonna do any damage. Yeah, that's, that's very upsetting. That uh, that doesn't work. Wait, shit. We lost the victory point, it's fine. Just fast forward, we should be fine. Good, there we go. Ugly, but it's a win. It's a win, that's the biggest part. And we only lost one unit. But yeah, I'm, I'm basically done trying to report issues. Um, 
because, I mean, there have definitely been a few times where I just didn't do enough research on it and I was wrong. But the Winds of Magic video, I, I don't see how that could have been messed up. And, I mean, you guys saw there that the stopping, the stop rampage ability does not work on a unit that is rampaging. So. But. You guys will be more than able to clip it that that part and send it in or whatever you guys if you want to do it I you know if you want to that's great if you don't want to that's great doesn't affect me one way or the other um, but I, I I'm not gonna take the time to try and send it in oh he actually stayed alive good stuff um, yeah, loot and occupy it so we get the replenishment. It is it's gonna go down to tier one anyway. I would, I would wager. Yeah, so don't worry about it. And then just repair that, and we will take the uh, recruitment cost, recruit rank, leadership, weapon strength. That's not bad. No. Construction time minus one for all buildings. That's really good. That's actually really good. Um, Alright, definitely get Root Marcher. I don't know what else I want. Um, could do Ancient Cunning. But I also want to get this. The spawning of Zyaddle. Gets physical resistance and then gets more physical resistance with an ability. So yeah, go ahead and grab that, and then we will grab some Source Warriors. He reduces their upkeep cost, uh, no, upkeep cost by 15%, so yeah, let's go ahead and get some more of those. Um, Cause I'm not gonna build anything next turn. But yeah, that's construction time for one building. That's or uh, minus one. That's pretty good, considering some of these buildings are fairly expensive and take a long time to build. But yeah, let's just do growth for now, and let's move off. Now, I do want to go south later on, because I, I would imagine it, it is more Skaven down here. I'm just not sure. But I want to get rid of this enemy first, because if we go south first, we're going to meet Kairos. And then we're going to have to deal with Kairos and the Skaven. And I don't want to do both. Um, Kairos, when you're down in this area, meeting Kairos should be your like least concern. For it like, cannot! Sorry, I said that wrong. Should be your biggest concern and something you want to do at the very bottom of your to-do list. Uh, you seek the favor of Iron Peak. Okay. If I keep beating on the skin, then, then he'll like me. So let's just keep doing that. It's now I can't awesome. get there. So let's just come here. And in camp stance. <laughs> And recruit a few, a few more units. Um, it is much cheaper. But yeah, do source warriors. Plus, next turn we'll get more. Um, go and repair that. Next turn we'll get more money as well. Alright, in terms of diplomacy, anything? What do you need? No, because they, I think, typically go to war with Thoric. Defender of truth, Lord of Athalora. So don't do that. Alright. Um. This will get him a rank up. Plus, it's Gaven, so we should get our money refunded. 
Good. And this will give us wind blast. Good. That way we can still repair that. He got a rank up. And then he should get another rank up when we take the Curse of the Jungle next turn. Let's move on. Now I knew the Skaven were there, again, the point of it was just to get him another rank. Um, and just in case you guys aren't aware, I'll show you guys how you can kind of find out that stuff. When you're going up against Skaven. Instead of trying to guess the whole time, like, hey, I wonder if this settlement is Skaven or not. Just go into the uh, diplomacy. And then click on like a Skaven faction. And then just toggle through your overlays up here. So you can do, um, the big ones are, um, you can do the diplomatic status, control, or growth. So growth is usually the biggest, easiest one because the AI um, will typically have a bunch of like growing bonuses. So if it's growing, it'll be green. If it pops up like black, that means it's not growing. And it'll kind of be hard to tell like if they're there. But you can always do control because it'll either be red, yellow, or green, and it always tells you basically if the, if a Skaven faction owns it. Um, so, just a little little fun fact for you there, in case you didn't know. But all right, let's take the curse in, or curse jungle. Yep. Just hold on to it for a second while we. Pop him in now. I kind of want to get another lord started, but I might do it no, here after we take the cursed jungle. Never um, just because I, I kind of want to keep seeing if that's a very if it if it's a um, logical thing to do for like every faction, I've done it with like demon factions, um, warriors of chaos. I've done it in uh, oh shoot now what other campaigns have I done it in? Um, Cathay, I've done it with Cathay on building that second lord and just getting them ranked up early on. That way they're able to. You know, when that way, when you're ready to expand and have two armies, you actually have another lord that can handle himself. But all right, let's see. Um, let's go ahead and fight this one here quick. And after the end of this fight, we'll end the video and get ready for part two. Because yeah, we are pushing the 40-minute mark already. Which the first. The first few videos always tend to go by fairly quickly for me when I'm making them because you typically do have to fight the first few battles at least um, manually to make sure you limit your casualties. But yeah, I can definitely see how that um, main settlement siege can be pretty difficult because of the towers. Now we got lucky on the fact that we didn't lose the Cold One Riders. I thought we would because they got down to four units. I think they did. Maybe it was four, six. I can't remember. But good thing for me was that they um, they didn't. Which their their main purpose is mainly just to harass, annoy, distract the enemy, run enemy units down at the end of a uh, end of a fight. All right. Good. Now we'll use him. As a um, just to do some initial damage to him. How much does this cost? Eight wins of magic. Oh god. Okay. Um, well, it'll be a little more difficult than I would have hoped, but we'll we'll figure it out. We'll be okay. Uh, we don't need you. Go ahead and swing you guys up here. 
I will say this though, I really despise Lizardmen maps. But at the same time, Lizardmen maps, like Lustrian maps, are great for Lizardmen. Terrible for Skaven and any army that uses missiles. So High Elves, Skaven, Siege, all all those guys. Highly prioritizes the melee factions here. Yeah, all this is gonna end up doing is letting uh, my magic generate here a little bit. But yeah, this costing eight wins of magic, really? I thought it was like four or five. But yeah, that's a lot. I know I haven't put any more points into it yet, but still. I mean, you, you guys are losing to uh, land rounds now? Come on. Good, alright, good. Swing you guys uh, up here. Maybe. Alright, we're coming for the, the uh, ski priest. Okay, alright. See, like, why is he already rampaging? But, yeah, it still doesn't work. We're gonna have to end up making like a playlist of mechanics in the, you know, like army abilities and things that don't work in Warhammer 3 the way they should. Or they just need to make this an area of effect thing. Instead of, like, I don't know, they need to do something, because that's a bunch of shit. Over half health, 70 leadership goes into Rampage. Like, he's gone into Rampage, I think, four or five times already, and we've only fought three fights. Like, that's just unacceptable. You can't have <laughs> you can't have your best units be in rampage 90% of the battle if you can't do anything to stop it. But all right, let's move forward. They got nothing. All right, let's send uh, send the priest forward. Start thinning them out a little bit. Do some uh, early damage to them. And they are definitely wide. Um, all right, stay here. Jeez, how many freaking minutes blows do they have? Good. Right. Set you guys out there. That's good. Kragar, stay here. Good. Plus, you gotta be, what, a hundred range? Like, god damn, this is... A rough spell. Did quite a, quite a bit of damage. Granted, you know, again, it's Skaven slaves, but still. Right. Go ahead and charge into them. Just charge into this blob. Or if they had like a melee mechanic, like um, the uh, green skins. Uh, corn, that kind of stuff. That'd be... They just need something. They need a little love, a little TLC. Oh shit, they got a... Yeah, we gotta do something about him. Um, front guard. Go get him. Push through. Come on. Same with you. Get in there. Alright, you come back out. Yeah, they're not gonna get to the fight in time, but that's fine. Good. You guys should be able to rip through the escaping slaves. Good. Two of you come up here. Nope, I need you. Go for the Lord now, because 
that warp lightning is dangerous. Okay, this is gonna be a good catch right here. There we go. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah, he's doing a good amount of damage on three casts. Good. Just so he doesn't start rampaging again. Hopefully that'll keep him from rampaging. But it's nice. I'm still a little unclear on how that's working. If it's health based, leadership based, I'm just not sure. I would imagine it's leadership based and health based. But I don't know. Line it up like bowling or uh, bowling pins. Didn't do a whole lot of damage that time for units that have next to no uh, armor. Right. Converge on them right here. Kragar, go deal with the Lord. That's gonna hurt. He's gonna have over 100,000 damage. Or 10,000 damage, excuse me. I guess you guys can go up here. Good. Yeah, you're done. Get out of there. Again, don't want to try and lose any units. Good, at least he's routing. He'll be done casting. Taking damage, but it's pretty evenly. He already came back. What a turd. Good. Damage is pretty uh, evenly spread out. That's okay. Close victory versus decisive. You know, it is what it is. But yeah, that'll be... We'll, we'll get through the uh, loading screen here, and that will be the first video of this campaign. Went a little longer than I usually would like to go, but that's okay. We weren't really at an ideal st uh, starting point. I didn't want to auto-resolve it either. But it, it doesn't matter if it's close or decisive because it doesn't affect the uh, total amount of experience we get. So, no worries there. But yeah, definitely, um, if you guys haven't, check out um, the Belgar Let's Play that I'm also doing on the channel. Don't forget to head on over. Um, I have made a specific playlist for Bella, uh, Bella Gar's campaign. That way you guys can just knock them all out at once if you want, instead of trying to find them spread out across the channel. And we will just occupy it. Yeah. Good. And we can get rid of that building, we don't need it there. And let's just sp uh, spend some skill points real quick. Good. Now, what does he need? Uh, no. Punishment, campaign movement range. Uh, let's make our units better. But, let's see, what can I get here? Alright, no big deal. No big deal. We will probably grab some skink cohorts with javelins moving forward. Uh, but yeah, let's let's pop in a save, and that will be the end of, of this first Let's uh, Play video for this campaign. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you're going to enjoy the campaign. Don't forget to drop a like on the video and comment if you are enjoying it. And also, 
if you're enjoying the content in general don't uh, be afraid to hit that subscribe button it does definitely help out the channel quite a bit and I greatly appreciate your support but uh, don't forget again to check out more let's play videos that will be provided here at the end of this video if you guys want to click right to it and thanks again for your support and I will see you guys for part two of this campaign later